I'm John McLemore, the President and CEO of Masterbuilt. I want to thank you for being our customer and joining the Dadgum Good community. We're going to get to know your Masterbuilt digital smokehouse. From assembly all the way to preseason, we're going to show you how to cook up some Dadgum Good food. So the first thing you want to do is unpack your smoker and remove all of the packaging material. Lay out all of your parts on a table or a flat surface and take inventory against the instruction manual. Before the assembly, read all of the instructions carefully. Assemble the unit on a clean, flat surface. The only tool that you'll need for assembly is a Phillips head screwdriver. Some assembly steps may already be completed due to pre-assembly at the factory. Carefully place the smoker on its side or upside down for assembly. If you choose to assemble the smoker upside down, make sure you place the styrofoam underneath the unit to protect the control panel. Attach the grease tray brackets to the bottom of the smoker. If they are already assembled due to pre-assembly at the factory, simply make sure the screws are tightened. Attach the feet to the bottom of the smoker unit using the A screws. Remove the adjustable screw legs and set aside. Attach the side panels to the smoker body using the B screws. Attach the wheels to the back of the smoker unit using the C screws. Insert the adjustable screw legs into the bottom of the smoker body. When the smoker is upright, use these two screws to level the smoker and then secure by tightening the tension nut. Okay, step one through five is complete and it's time to put the handle on. Now we're gonna simply turn the unit back over Attach the handle to the back of the smoker, and remember, never lift the smoker using this handle. Okay, now that our handle is attached, we're gonna show you how to mount the door handle. Position the door handle and secure using flathead screws. If your handle is already pre-assembled, simply tighten the screws. Slide the grease tray into the grease tray bracket. Align the keyholes on the grate support to the studs on the side of the smoker. When placing the smoking racks into the smoker, you'll notice there's a bend on the back of every smoking rack. Place that in first. This allows a stopping point to secure the racks when removing your food. Make sure the drip deflector is secure on the smoker studs. Now it's time to place the water bowl, wood chip tray, and drip pan inside the smoker. Insert the wood chip loader into the side of the smoker. The smoker comes with a remote control, a handy device that allows you to check the internal temperature or anything about that recipe from the convenience of inside your house. The smoker comes with wheels for easy mobility and you plug it into any standard 110 outlet. Now we don't recommend using an extension cord, but if you must, use a heavy duty extension cord with a ground. Before you smoke food, you must pre-season the smoker. Make sure the water bowl is in place with no water. Set the temperature to 275 degrees and the time to three hours. In the last 45 minutes of the process, add a half a cup of wood chips to the wood chip loader. Simply turn the wood chip loader to dump the chips into the tray. It's very important to never overload your smoker with wood chips. Never add additional chips until the previous load has completely stopped smoking. Folks, take a look at all that smoke. I think our preseason is almost complete and I'm ready to smoke some good food. How about you? Again, I want to thank you for being a Masterbuilt customer. And if you want more information, just visit us at masterbuilt.com.